Hello and welcome. Hi. This time we're going to talk about uh, databases, of course. Yeah, and we want to make something actually now. So now we installed our Raspberry. Everything is fine. We installed uh, MariaDB. We want to do it. I'm logging in here now with Putty. Yeah, onto my Raspberry. I will move this to the top right here. That. You can see me and still see what I'm typing in. Yeah, so I'm logging in. Yeah. We are logged in. Now, how to start? How to start uh, the software? Yeah. We can use either. Su we have to do sudo. Yeah, super user too, because we have the sufficient rights to do this, and. We can call MariaDB, MariaDB, yeah. or we can even type MySQL. This is because MariaDB is a branch of MySQL. But we will use MariaDB. Enter. MariaDB started. Okay. This is the interface of MariaDB. Now we can now we can enter our first SQL command. Yeah. Our first SQL command and first SQL command. We want to show show something, yeah. Show databases, yeah. Always remember to do this with a semicolon at the end. Okay, without semicolon, it's not working proper. Yeah? So, enter. Not much there. Information scheme, MySQL performance scheme. Not much. Yeah? Why is this? Yeah, because we just installed MariaDB, that's a database management system, but not a database. We have to tell our database management system now, hey, please, I want to have a database. Okay, I have to tell it, please make a database. And therefore, we're using our first command. Yeah. Mm. This was the wrong button. It's the right button. <laughs> Our first command, first command, is uh, create uh, because we want to create something. That's a SQL command create, and we want to create a database. Uh, this is not sufficient because the database needs to have a name. Okay, database needs to have a name, and we. We'll stick to the to the rule that everybody here has his own database, yeah, and it will start with DB. That's the name, and now your sure name, mine is Peter Shosky, yeah? and now your given name, Heinz. So this is now my database. This is the name of my database. I will write in uppercase. Yeah? This is usual. Yeah? I, the database I always also write in uppercases. The tables I write with a big case at the beginning, and the attributes I write in lowercase. But this is just convention. It's very usual to write at least the SQL commands in uppercase. It's not necessary, yeah? but it's usual, and it helps us in reading. Yeah? Everybody which helps us for the computer, it's not necessary. Yeah? But everything which is helping us. We should use. Okay, semicolon, enter. Query okay, one row affected. So now, if I now enter, show databases. Ta da! There is the my database. Okay, wunderbar. Now, if we want to use this database, yeah? if we want to use this database, then I have to write use and db the database name. And suddenly you see, suddenly it's written here db with the hands. This is now my standard database. Whatever I type in next yeah, will be happening in this database. 
do not forget this yeah? to, to, to change the standard database. Otherwise, you will run into problems. You will get error messages. It's not that severe, this issue, but this can be forgotten very easily. Okay? The standard database is used un until I exit. Yeah? Now I am operational uh, operation system again. Yeah? Now, one thing also hint, just press arrow up and you get to the last command that's working here in Raspbian or Raspberry OS now. Yeah? And this is working also here in MariaDB. Press up two times, last command, use my database. Yeah. yeah. So now, now we have produced a database. And this is, you can try. Try to make your own database on your training system. Yeah. This training system. Here next time. Next time we are going to, to talk about tables. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.